my name is Anai. I've been wanting to film YouTube videos, except I haven't really had any topics to talk about. But since I am currently 36 weeks pregnant, I wanted to go ahead and do a pregnancy series before I have my little one. Just so you know what I went through, what I've experienced, my symptoms. So I think it's just nice to see if you're feeling the same way as I am or what the case is. There was really nothing that drove me to taking a pregnancy test besides the fact that one day I was FaceTiming my mom and she was like, oh yeah, girl, you're pregnant. And I was like, no, I'm not. My periods, they were already irregular. I wasn't like five days late, you know, I was like a week or two late and then boom, period. And I was always fine, but as soon as my mom told me how she felt, I went ahead and I took me a pregnancy test. I took one and it came out positive and I was like, no, this is not right. I went and I bought two more. They came out positive and I was like, no, this is not right. And then finally I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make an appointment. So I made an appointment with the clinic and sure enough, I was pregnant. And I still didn't believe it. I'm sorry if the audio isn't really all that great. I am trying out my new camera. It doesn't have an external mic, like input. I don't know if I like said that right. But if I don't sound that good or if you can hear the cars behind me, I apologize for that. But anyways, I do have some stuff for in my phone to go based off. So let's just go ahead and get into it. The first things first, I took my pregnancy test. I got confirmed everything. I told my mom, I told my dad. I would say maybe like a week later, I started having, I would say that it was implantation bleeding, but at first I was not sure because when I went to the clinic, they told me I was already about four weeks pregnant because usually when you find out you're about four weeks. So I didn't think anything of it. I just thought like, something's wrong and I would get like these really, really bad pains. My stomach would hurt to where I would go to bed and I would wake up in the middle of the night cramping. I ended up going to the ER over that. Apparently it was just implantation bleeding. The next thing is my first trimester was the most slowest, miserable time of my life. I've never experienced anything as horrible. Pretty much, your symptoms start right away. I don't know if it's a mind game. Before I knew that I was pregnant, I was fine. I wasn't sick. As soon as I found out, it was like boom, boom, symptom here, symptom there kind of thing. My first major symptom where I kind of believe this is happening to me right now is morning sickness. Don't let it fool you. It's not just a morning thing. Mine was literally all day, every day to where I couldn't eat anything, I couldn't drink anything. It was just horrible for me. As soon as I hit like my six week mark, that's whenever I was just in bed the whole time. I just couldn't cope with how I was feeling. I had the worst nausea ever, and then the nausea it turned it up into vomiting all the time, never failed. I couldn't do anything without throwing up. I just wanted to drink some water because I was super dehydrated, but I couldn't do that. I couldn't even hold it down. It didn't go away until maybe the middle of my fourth month. I would always ask people, hey, like how long did your sickness last? When did you start feeling better? And none of their answers made me feel any better. As soon as I would hit like that week that they told me that they felt better, I didn't feel any better at all. I lost a couple of pounds being so sick and you can just see it in my face they always told me eat saltine crackers in the middle of the night wake up eat you a saltine cracker eat you something that way when you wake up you won't feel as bad that was a lie i would literally wake up in the middle of the night to go use the restroom and before i got back in bed i would grab me a cracker and i would eat it and i would just go back to sleep i would still wake up feeling horrible I was super nauseous, vomiting all the time, that nothing really worked for me besides those dissolvable tablets. Now, as soon as I started taking those, I was A1. It got to a point, your body gets used to it. The next thing you know, it's not lasting as long as it's supposed to or it's not helping with your symptoms as much as it's supposed to. It was just the worst time of my life. It was difficult to brush my teeth. I would brush my teeth and I don't know if you brush your tongue, but I brush my tongue. I would brush my tongue and it would just trigger it. I don't have a gag reflex. I can brush all the way back and I would be fine. But as soon as I became pregnant, I could no longer do that. It was, it was hard. Your sense of smell is super, super Super duper high end. We could literally walk outside. There would be a smell. I would ask my boyfriend, hey, like, do you smell this? And he'd be like, no. So one time he was cooking some food and I remember just smelling like what he was cooking. It just made me so sick. I had trouble sleeping. It literally felt like 
I never went to bed. I would go to sleep. You have vivid dreams. So I would wake up in the mornings and I would be super exhausted, so tired that I would go to sleep. I would wake up from that nap feeling the same exact way. With the trouble sleeping, I couldn't ever sleep on my stomach. I would squish my stomach. I guess that's like the best way I can put it. All this pressure was on my belly that it would make me even more sick. So I would always sleep on my left side. It's like something of how you're positioned that you just settle. You know what I mean? Like everything's just nothing's moving in your stomach. I probably didn't even say that right, but I am telling you, your left side is your best friend. I did have increase of urination, so I would be peeing all the time, but let me tell you, your first trimester is not like the third trimester. I would go use the restroom during my first trimester and be like, babe, I gotta go pee again. I would go and I would pee. But my third trimester, oh my goodness. When I tell you, I feel like I have to go pee. And when I go pee and I don't pee, that is the worst thing. Throughout the night, I'm waking up literally every hour. I'm not even kidding. Sometimes you just feel like you have to pee so bad and you go and there's nothing there. You gotta be careful because sometimes you can either have a bladder infection or just the way that your baby's positioned on your bladder. I ended up getting constipated. I don't know if the constipation was due to the pregnancy itself or because of the tablets that I was taking. <laughs> I would feel like I had to go poop and I would go and I couldn't. Now I know this is like super TMI, but hey, you're here for this video and I'm gonna let you know what I experienced. So constipation, it was, it was horrible. Enlarged areolas. Oh my goodness, when I tell you, I've never felt so like, ew, about something on me. Expansion. I don't know if they shrink back down or not. I highly doubt it, but I'll make another video later on postpartum. Next is the pounding heart. My heart felt like it was going to pound out of my chest. I think they call this like a heart population I don't know how to say the word there's either a reason and why your heart is beating that way or it's just like the pregnancy itself this was something I was always concerned about because I would go to the OB and my heartbeat would just be pounding girl I had to get um, an EKG I had two my whole pregnancy but turns out like everything was fine it did slow down towards the end of my pregnancy but it would kind of sneak up on me i would just be sitting here and next thing you know my heart would just start racing it's just a lot of feelings that go with what you're feeling that kind of makes it worse noticeable veins i started noticing my veins more on my legs around my knees it's just because your blood flow it's flowing girl a lot of things change and you notice a lot of other things sometimes you may think it's all in your head but in reality everything's okay as like i started getting further along so you can see them a lot right here compared to what you used to it's normal there's nothing wrong with it next is stretch marks personally i haven't noticed any stretch marks around my belly but i do have stretch marks on my thighs like under my boobs i'm added to my video and i forgot that i started getting like super itchy i do scratch I do avoid scratching is my belly since they do say that if you scratch that's what causes stretch marks next is discharge i discharge like crazy it's always something that i bring up at doctor's appointments but turns out like there's nothing wrong at this point i just think it's the way that my body handles pregnancy i learned to spend money every other week or so on panty liners i pray that it goes away afterwards next you have an increase in appetite you can be ready for bed and the next thing you know a cookie or a burger anything ice cream i crave ice creams and grapes one time my boyfriend didn't want to go buy me grapes my brother didn't want to buy me grapes nobody wanted to buy me grapes and i started crying so finally my boyfriend was like okay let's go get you some grapes all i wanted was just some grapes next I get round ligament pain. If you're just laughing or you just move really fast, you get that pain, but then you, you're fine. It goes away. The hip pain, oof. It gets to a certain point in your pregnancy where you can no longer sleep on your back because you have this major artery, I believe. Mm. 
I don't remember what this artery is called. And if you lay down, and if your baby puts their weight on this nerve, it like clamps your blood flow. And a lot of things can go wrong for you and the baby. I started sleeping on my hips. Well, on my sides. I'll be asleep and I'll shift to my right side. And I'll get it on my right side. So here I'm going back to my left side. It's no fun. You just gotta get used to it. I started getting lower back pain and it like carries down to my legs. Wrist pain. So just know know that carpal tunnel is a thing during pregnancy it's just like fluid comes between your wrist it used to be my left arm and now it's in my right arm and pretty much or my right wrist mostly during the night and in the morning is when i feel it more next are leaky boobs my boobs started to leak more like at the end of my second trimester i would just be hanging out and i would feel my shirt was wet and i would look down and it would be like this big old thing i wouldn't say milk because you technically don't have your milk in yet but i'm gonna say milk next is your linea negra i think that's what it's called it just depends on how your skin does with pigmentation because i got that my like my underarm started to get like super dark i have discoloration in the back of my legs i'm just gonna assume it has a lot to do with my pregnancy because i was not like this before the excess saliva i would spit so much because if i just swallowed it especially at the time when i was like super nauseous it would make me feel like butt. Next is heartburn. I personally never had experienced heartburn. It just feels like something's like creeping up. I think that's what heartburn is. Next is fatigue. Anything that I do, it feels like a workout. If your body is telling you that it is tired, listen to it and just rest. Because you don't wanna overwork yourself. Take it easy. I would say for my last one, which is a little TMI, is swollen lady parts. I remember I would like shower and wash myself. When I got down there, it would kind of hurt in a way. I am a person who investigates my body. I went ahead and I looked. It was kind of swollen, apparently. I'm not the only female that it's happened to. I'm gonna say maybe by the time I'm getting close to being in labor, I'm gonna feel more. As of right now, at 36 weeks and three days, those are my pregnancy symptoms. This is probably gonna be a pregnancy series. I hope to see you really soon. Like, comment if you have any suggestions suggestions i hope this camera quality was really good because like i mentioned earlier in the video i did get a new camera i hope the audio is working for us thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye